How's it going? It's that nerd Ryan, and today we are going to be talking about Last Action Hero. So, just a little bit of um, background of why I chose this movie this week. So, growing up, my dad had the soundtrack to Last Action Hero because he's a big Alice in Chains fan and ACDC, and I mean, it's a pretty good soundtrack. Um, and I was always curious what the movie was about and just kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Um, and then I was scrolling through Netflix and there comes Last Action Hero. So I just chose to watch it and I was like, ah, I might as well review it while I'm watching it. So that's why we're doing this today. So I'm going to give a quick summary of what happens in the movie and then we're going to discuss what I think about it, favorite part, uh, something I could critique, so on and so forth. So basically what happens is there is this kid that kind of has a crummy life at home, but he's a big movie buff and he loves Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. And one is coming out called Jack, not Jack Reacher, um, but Jack something. And it's like the fourth movie in the franchise. They're, we actually get it open with the previous movie's ending. Um, and then we see his life. He gets this magic ticket that teleports him into the next movie. There he meets Arnold's character. Um, and they go to police headquarters and everything. <coughs> Nobody believes him that they're only in a movie. Um, and that like all the weird stuff that's going on is like an average thing um, and then they finally start realize he they start like basically doing the movie plot but also go off plot and stuff like that um, and then the bad guy gets a tick the ticket and gets into the real world so does Arnold and the kid and then Arnold realizes that he's fake. He meets his real Jack. Realizes that he's fake. He meets Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then they have a whole. Um, the villain recruits other villains, mainly just the villain from the opening of the movie. Uh, and then they have like a final fight. Arnold gets or Jack gets shot in the chest. And then. Um, they bring him back to the real world. I'm gonna stop really quick because something just happened. Okay. Then Arnold gets brought back, or, or Jack gets brought back to the uh, movie world, and it turns out it's just a flesh wound because it's the movie world. And that's kind of where we end our movie. Um, so. What I really liked about this movie is it is completely satire. It is making fun of action movies and all the tropes and everything. Like, Jack in it is a terrible driver and he constantly is either causing other people to crash or he's crashing into things because, I mean, that's how, like, action stars drive <laughs> is they're zooming around and car chases and everything, so they're not really good drivers. <laughs> so, like, that's a whole joke on itself throughout the entire movie um Danny DeVito voices a animated cop cat <laughs> um basically what I understand of the precinct is that it is literally just every single movie cop I mean we get a cameo from the uh cop from Terminator 2 in it the T-1000 I think it is uh but yeah we get that we get just all these like funky looking cops like girl cops dressed like skimpy Halloween costumes and like stuff like that and it's just taken that it's all normal and then there's stuff like um, playing chicken the villain will always lose unless you're a comic relief character um, and then like Later on, when he gets in the real world, Jack punches somebody, and then he or punches a car window open. And he's like, "My hand hurts," <laughs> and like stuff like that. And then um, Arnold's wife, who or Arnold's daughter, I can't remember her name, um, but she, I think it's Veronica. Oh, it's Veronica in 
It's Veronica Vaughn from Billy Madison. So I, I can only think of her as that. So I didn't catch her name. But um, she's like some action star, but also like this like super hot girl for the movie. Like it, it's playing all the tropes of like action movies. And it's great. Um, and then we got like the villains are way over the top they're um hilariously like just overly bad guys and it's great then we get um <clears throat> like some of the my favorite part is when jack meets arnold and arnold's like oh we can use you for like my um we can use you for jobs you're such a great lookalike and blah blah, blah. and jack turns around and he's like shut up I want you to know I don't like you. He's like going to everything and then he walks out. Uh, some stuff that I would have critiqued was maybe kind of switch. Like, what I, I kind of wanted to see more of Jack in the real world. But, I mean, other than that, it's, it's great to see, like, all these, like, stupid over-the-top plots kind of get made fun of. Um, in this movie I just love that but um, yeah it, I, I enjoyed it um, I kind of was wondering if they would ever remake it nowadays who would be the action star because we have so many action stars now I was like maybe Chris Pratt maybe Chris Evans uh, Matt Damon maybe like stuff like that but yeah um, so I gotta give this a eight out of ten um i really liked it i'd probably watch it again but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment subscribe ring that bell and follow me on all my social media down below it's that nerd ryan telling you have an amazing day